I am Robert and welcome to my channel where I discuss everything automated algorithmic trading or simply algo trading. The last big video talked about the introduction of Jackrabbit's Mimic. Today I'm going to take that a little bit further and go into actually seeing and showing what happens through the process of Mimic. Now you could just as easily go through your trading view or some other kind of alert generating program and just load up on alerts using Mimic with the examples I gave in the last video. And there are plenty of good ways of doing that that demonstrate very much how things work. And I have of course done that myself through testing and bug hunting, where I have a wide range of different strategies on different assets that I can see, test, evaluate, and determine what will and won't work. With some things that I've always wanted to try, but because of cryptocurrency markets not having test nets that are always accurate or even providing a full suite of testing functions I've never had the opportunity to do so without risking real money so that is where a lot of what we have mimic answers the question for me in a way that I can see and analyze without risking any real money so with these six various charts that I have just quickly demonstrated and the list of alerts on the right hand side, you could see some of my interesting tests. Now the one thing that I need to emphasize very carefully is Mimic is only for the cryptocurrency markets. Forex has demo accounts that are really quite outstanding. So Mimic only addresses the problem with the cryptocurrency exchanges having poor quality test nets if they even have them at all. So now that we've gone through a very crude and brief overview of some of the tactics I am using to test Mimic, let's get down to ways where you can really test and see Mimic working immediately. Now that we are in the VPS, let's get to the Mimic CFG file. From the last video where we created a list of public exchanges, or excuse me, public reference points to the exchanges. We also created the initial Mimic config file that listed all of the public exchanges or public APIs that we could access. Now, being that this is Relay, the rules for Mimic are identical to every single exchange. And that is all of these are sub accounts to the exchange Mimic. Just like if you had Kraken or Bybit or some other exchange with four or five sub accounts. With Mimic, these are your sub accounts. And you can have as many as your VPS will allow before you blow it up. There are over a hundred here that are created for you by the system when you go through the setup process. But you don't have to use them. You can just use and limit yourself to the exchange that you prefer to use. For example, in my case, I often use Kraken as my primary exchange. And as you can see, my account name is Kraken. That doesn't matter. This is the same rules as every single exchange. You can call your account whatever you want. For example, with my OAND accounts, I have Cherry Blossom, French Vanilla, Strawberry Delight. It doesn't matter. 
as long as you are consistent in how you use it. So you can see that my account is cracking. So when I go to list my balances, when I go to list the markets, when I go to place my trades, I access the Mimic Exchange and the Kraken account to reference the data source of Kraken using my main account on my Kraken exchange. Now, what if we don't want to use any other exchanges but just want to use our primary? Well, simply copy it and give it a different name. For the purposes of simplicity, I'm just going to give it a zero one. I can still reference the same primary data source and data account, Kraken main, but the wallet will be Kraken zero one. You can have as many wallets linked to your single account as you want. So let's actually get to the listing and demonstrate what this looks like. As demonstrated in the last video where I showed and went through the wallet and history files, we will see that we have the history file and the actual wallet file for the Kraken account and then for the Femix public account. But now, Notice we don't have the Kraken01 account. That isn't a problem. As you can see with listing the balances, the Mimic Exchange, the Kraken01 account, and all of the quote currencies set to the initial value I have in the configuration. Now what's important here is that your sub accounts are created on demand if they don't exist whether it's the first order or you listing the markets or you requesting a balance list it will bring up a brand new wallet and it will load it appropriate to the initial balances and settings of the mimic config file and we see that the wallet is enabled meaning we haven't liquidated it there are no fees yet and all of the quote currency assets have a value in them so we have the initial wallet ready to go now we can begin to actually test and demonstrate just what is going to happen on a real situational status. So let's get out of this and let's actually bring up the balances in this side. And then we are going to use a program out of the code proofs directory or folder to actually test and simulate trading. Now this is not a robust program as I am going to demonstrate. It's really a hot mess all the way around, but that's fine because the whole point of code proofs is to actually try to break the system or find bugs. So we go to extras, code proofs, place, order. We're going to go through the process of simulating an order. So now it just tells you that we need an exchange and an account. So mimic. Again, this is not a bright program. And you can see it blows up. Of course, it would help if I gave it the right information. Extras, code proof, 
check your typing and it's going to blow up again nonetheless but this time it'll give us a useful meaning so let's go with of a euro no particular reason just because we can let's buy one so we're going to buy one of a euro and now it is going to go through and actually simulate the order here's our confirmation id and the results returned from the actual place order process that have been completely simulated. And we can see that we have now the ID number, our action was buy, the asset that we wanted to buy, the amount that we wanted to buy, and based upon the exchange data, that is when we pulled Kraken's live data feed, the current price of this purchase was 118.33. And then, of course, the following details of the wallet infrastructure itself. Now, that's the first price, but the actual real price that was placed by the time fees slippage spread was all taken into account was actually 118.56 yes the program does measure the difference and you can actually track and see through the order details mechanism what your slippage is and we paid roughly 38 cents for our fees our euro currency is 99881 so the amount we purchased was deducted and we are given 0 0.99 ave now of course remember you're always going to get less than you want because of fees and supply and demand so now what happens if we buy another amount Let's buy two Ave this time. Now I'm using positive numbers. Mimic uses the Forex framework for simplicity. Positive numbers are long positions. Negative numbers are short positions. And I will demonstrate short positions later because there's a few differences between Mimic and the underlying exchange Kraken that you can take advantage of for testing and analyzing your data. So now we can see that we have additional information and additional prices appropriate to what we paid versus what we wanted. And we have additional fee for this transaction. Now let's actually let's sell three. After all, we bought one, we bought two, that gives us three Ave. And as you can see, Mimic said not enough balance, which is correct, because by the time fees were taken out, we actually only have 2.99 Ave. And now we can't sell 2.99 Ave because of the fees. So if we try to put that in, we'll get told not enough balance again. But if we put 2.99 
eight. It should let us sell it, hopefully. Let's see. Considering one Ave costs 38 cents, we still might not be able to sell this. Okay, and let us sell it. And lo and behold, we have dust. And on top of that, we lost 5 euro. So we actually see how this really works and plays out. We can see here that the price that we thought we were going to get was 118.55, but the price we actually got, the price the exchange gave us was 11850 excuse me 59 so we got 4 cents more than we actually thought we were going to get we did good on this we got a positive slippage in our favor that always isn't the case when you're trading and that's why tools like this exist so that you can see exactly what happens. So now let's go back and actually see what our balances look like. And there we have it. We can see clearly we lost 5 euro. And that is the whole point of cryptocurrencies. Wallets have one value. That value is all that matters. If you're under your initial balance, you've lost money. End of story. No matter how many profits you made in the process, if you're not above your initial balance, you've lost money. And we can see the annoying and infuriating dust in the wallet. That really is the whole point and practice and truth of trading in cryptocurrency markets. Unlike the Forex and stock markets where you can make money a lot easier through simple positions, your strategy in the Forex market needs to look at the bigger picture as well as the individual trades. Now that we have seen how long positions work, let's actually see how short positions work. So we're going to use the place orders program again. This time we're going to use the British pound as the quote currency. Something weird, something that will stand out. Again, this is something that you can't do easily on the real Kraken exchange, but here you can to get an idea of how the wallet will work and cross compare different quote currencies. So we are going to buy, and we are going to buy three of it in the short direction. So this is going to open a short. So from the standpoint of the market, now remember Kraken only allows spot markets. This is a big difference with what Mimic will and won't allow. Mimic doesn't really care what the underlying exchange allows for the data source. It will let you long or short because the money isn't real. So even if Kraken won't let you short a position, Mimic will, so you can actually see how the process works in practice and see how it is actually carried out mechanically so that you get an idea of how long and short positions really work. It is really the perfect test bed that demonstrates that even in fees, you see the amount you are holding 
is in fact a minus 299. So you are holding 2.99 Ave in the short direction. So when you see what your balances look like, you see the quote currency has been deducted and Ave is now in the short side. And the dust that you had left in the account was liquidated. So you see exactly how the system is supposed to work with what is considered to be common regulatory functionality. So now we have 299 of Ave in a short position or short direction. So negative numbers will automatically open up short positions. Positive numbers will automatically open up long positions. So now if you want to flip the position, what that means is you're telling the system that you want to close out the short side and open the long side. So let's see if Mimic gets it right. And let's see what our order actually looks like. And there we are. We have an order that shows short side to a long side. And we see how it actually affected the quote currency. It got the flip right. So now you see long positions, short positions, and you've seen the mechanical process that Mimic uses for flipping positions. Now let's get into the wallet history itself and show the actual steps there. Now back to our file list, we see our created Kraken01 account. Let's bring up the wallet and we see that it is still enabled. We see that we have paid a total of 79 cents in fees with all of the transactions that we have currently done. We can also see the state of each wallet, including our current long position Ave of 2.99 and we can see our current position of GBP of 99.695 let's see if I can and there we are the state of the wallet but now let's get down to the transactions how does these transactions look with what we've done Well, that's what the history file is. And we can see all of the transactions we've done. As from the pri first primary video on Mimic, we see the date time the transaction took place, the ID that was assigned to it, the action that we did. And we can see a few actions that we didn't do. For example, the liquidation actions when we decided to flip sides. We actually see that Mimic used two different operations. So now that we have the action. So here we're looking at the action. The first cell. That's the one we did. The second cell is when we flipped the side of it and we made a short position. And then we liquidated, flipping the side of it, and we made a long position. So you have the whole complete history of exactly how the process took place 
from beginning to end. The other important thing to be aware of is that we see how the wallet, where's the mouse? We see how the wallet has reacted. Okay, we see right here, Ave, the additions, the subtractions, so forth, and how the various, quote, currencies reacted as well. So we can see a full and complete history of our transactions for this sub-account. Every sub-account you create in Mimic will have its own history and its own wallet. And right now, if you simply want to reset the account altogether, that's easy. Just delete the files. You have now reset the account. So now if we go back to the balance command, you will find the account completely reset and ready to start all over again. This is also the same practice that you do if you liquidate the account after you've inspected it and learned all of the secrets that it gives you. And you are ready to start over again and continue building a whole new trading approach that hopefully will be more profitable than the last one. Or to run another test to gain more information. In wrapping up this video, I want to finish with a few critical points that really need to be taken advantage of. The cryptocurrency market is filled with untold possibilities, but because of the lack of a testing environment that is safe and reliable, nobody wants to risk real money trying to find a proven sustainable approach. Mimic takes that problem off the table. You can run a thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand simulations and not risk one single penny. You could do really crazy things like purchase once every minute no matter what just to see what would happen and see how much money you can make if all you did was sell when every time a position went into profit. There are so many possibilities that Mimic now brings to the table to help you explore, develop, and build trading paradigms that can truly be profitable in ways that are yet to even be explored. If you have questions, please ask them. Mimic is an open alpha for a reason. To develop and move it to the next level. To take it to the point to where testing cryptocurrency theories and strategies can truly be risk-free. Leave a comment. Let me know your suggestions. What would you like to see added to Mimic? If you like this video and want to help grow this channel, please hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.